Hello, good day everyone, and welcome again to the Marquina Conservatory. So officially, this will be the uh, uh, Maritime Aviator Vlog Journal Session 0094. I haven't been in, uh, you know, I haven't updated my vlog uh, for the past few months because I was uh, very busy uh, doing other stuff. Um, it's been uh, difficult this past few months for me because uh, I had to wait uh, regarding on my uh, vaccinations. Apparently, the booster shots, I did not anticipate that the vaccinations had two booster shots. So, uh, it was to my surprise uh, last September that... Uh, that uh, that the uh, clinic told me, or the uh, local LGU uh, unit in my area told me that the uh, that the booster shots, uh, that the vaccine had two booster shots. Apparently, uh, based on what they said, uh, it will take another three months, four months for me to take the second booster shots. So uh, apparently, uh, the second booster shots will be at least uh, after New Year, uh, January 16, from uh, what they said to me. So in the meantime, I am left right now to be waiting again for the second shots on booster. So which will uh, render me probably unproductive for the next uh, couple of months. Basically, what does that mean? It means I'm not going to get back at sea anytime soon. And uh, probably if I ever get... Uh, I'm not ever. I mean, if I ever get back... Uh, if I get back at sea. So, sorry about that. If ever I get back at sea, it will take at least next year. Uh, given with the uh, screw-ups regarding with this one. Now, why is vaccination very important for me as an OFW and as a seafarer to be specific? Well, the, here's the thing. Uh, there's a recent memo on POEA, the Philippine Overseas Employment Agency, an agency that regulates uh, migrant workers like me, seafarers. And there's a regulation lately that states that no migrant worker will be out of the country if their vaccinations were not completed. So in my case, it's highly impossible for me to go back at sea uh, without completing all of my vaccinations. So... Uh, that uh, basically speaks about it. Uh, without the second booster shot, it means I couldn't get a permit. They actually issue a permit to, uh, you know, just to confirm that you've already fully vaccinated and have already taken the second shot. I think uh, the agency that issues that uh, vaccines, uh, I mean, permits and certificates for the vaccine will be the Bureau of Quarantine here in the Philippines. So, for the time being, I still have to complete my uh, second uh, booster shots, which, uh, well, to be honest, being uh, I have to wait until January, and by that time, it's a little bit uh, way too late for me, or, or I've already, uh, let's just say, overextended my stay in the Philippines. Yeah, but uh, like I said, there's nothing much I could do about that. That's the regulations here in the Philippines, so, uh, yeah. Uh, just to say I'm stuck. I'm stuck till January 16. So I'll be making a few more blogs <laughs> back then. So what I've been, uh, anyway, uh, what I've, I have been up to this past few months? Well, uh, lately I have been, uh, recording my gameplay sessions, uh, on my gaming channel. I've already had, uh, I established a gaming channel, which is called the Merkina Conservatory Gaming, from the name itself. And I've been recording my uh, Let's Play sessions or uh, uh, video game uh, play sessions on the Nintendo Switch. So I have a Nintendo Switch and I just use a video card capture to capture my uh, my uh, recorded gameplay using this PC, of course. Uh, it's really wonderful that uh, there's now a game card or game capture card that I could use to capture the gameplay. Back then, uh, way before those things were invented uh, or most widely available to the public, uh, we had to go to uh, the manual type of recording. As in literally, you have to put your camera right in front of a TV screen just to record your gaming. Of course, uh, the audio wasn't very good uh, with that kind of analog type of recording. But nowadays, I have already uh, made some improvements. There's already, well, as you can see, a video game capture card. Um, 
there's a uh, there's no issue to that because it's uh, video game card video game captured cards are relatively cheap nowadays. It just only cost about uh, one thousand pesos. Uh, I think one thousand, two thousand pesos in uh, Shopee. So that's uh, the thing I've been doing for the past few months. Basically, just recording my uh, gameplay sessions uh, on the PC. Uh, Oh, of course, uh, the uh, I hope Nintendo will not screw me over <laughs> on that part because uh, Nintendo is very, let's just say, protective of its IP. And anybody or any YouTuber or any person, content creator that makes uh, videos regarding about their I, uh, their IPs, brands, uh, sp- specifically Nintendo brands, they tend to sue them up or close the channel down. But here's the thing. I'm it's uh, I'm already producing a uh, video game content, but I'm not exactly producing it on uh, YouTube. I'm using Odyssey, so uh, uh, Odyssey uh, video platform is a bit more lenient when it comes to uh, video content game creations. You can actually publish your uh, video game related. Uh, sessions compared to YouTube uh, there's one incident of course that I uh, posted my uh, video game sessions uh, uh, not too long ago uh, actually uh, just a few months I think May I published in my video game sessions on uh, YouTube uh, on Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain and YouTube just uh, right off the bat closed my channel and blocked my uh, or banned my videos when uh, of course, those videos are definitely very harmless. It's just a let's play session. I'm not saying anything political, anything or anything that is controversial. Uh, so uh, I myself was surprised and kind of disheartened, to be honest, that YouTube closed down uh, my uh, video game channel. So now I'm uh, in regards to that. I am now publishing my uh, video game recorded sessions in Odyssey. I'm probably gonna be rarely publishing my uh, video game sessions in YouTube at all. But of course, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that I've abandoned the idea. In fact, I've already got a project uh, scheduled on how to, uh, you know, uh, how uh, publishing my uh, recorded uh, Let's Play sessions in YouTube. But uh, it's definitely, uh, you know, a very lenient type of uh, video game. Um, I'm currently uh, engaging on a fan fiction, to be honest. Um, more like a personal uh, role-playing game uh, I've played. Uh, of course, you've been familiar with Stellaris, the video game that I've been playing for, or 4X, uh, uh, grand strategy video game that I've been playing for years now. Uh, probably I'll be making uh, some sort of uh, role-playing session on that. I'm going to publish first my uh, recorded um recorded let's play sessions then after that i'm gonna post an additional videos regarding about the lore or the role playing that i've uh i made on uh stellaris sorry i i, I get gas because i'm not i don't typically speak english especially on video uh on uh on videos because um uh, I still prefer the privacy of using my own local language, but for now, I think I'm uh, kind of at the same time practicing my English as well because in uh, making content regarding uh, video game sessions, you have to speak English, unfortunately, for uh, for an international audience rather than the local audience. <clears throat> so uh, that's the thing that I have been uh, working on lately. For now, uh, hopefully, I have uh, I could finish that my. Um, I could finish my uh, recorded video game sessions uh, on Stellaris before um, before <laughs> my vacation expires up, so or before this uh, year ends. So it's no easy feat to be honest. And up to now, I've already made uh, 35, if I recall correct, 35 recorded video game sessions on that uh, video game alone, Stellaris. And that is only the recorded gameplay session. Did this excludes the videos that I will be making that more like explains the lore and world building uh, thing that I made on that uh, role playing game so uh, expect that it might be uh, take a while so that's the one that's the exclusive content that I'll be posting or the, the content not exclusive but the only content that I'll be producing 
in the YouTube channel as of the moment because, uh, of course, as copyright issues. But in regards to Odyssey on my video content, almost all of my recorded uh, Let's Play sessions will be posted in Odyssey given that uh, the restrictions there are more lax and they allow uh, video content creators. They're very welcoming when it comes to video content creators. And they have a, <coughs> sorry, they have a policy there on the um, Odyssey video content platform that uh, they have a very strict policy of freedom of speech thing compared to YouTube, of course. So uh, that's the thing that I've been uh, very busy at the moment. Uh, aside from that, uh, like I said, I was busy on recording my video game sessions with the Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Switch. I'm currently, uh, for the moment, recording my uh, Let's Play sessions in on the game Nier Automata. Uh, which was released recently on the Switch. Actually, it's just only released at least two weeks ago, if I recall correct. So, uh, so uh, uh, where was I? I forgot that thing. <coughs> so, I will be, uh, given with this, uh, copyright issues, I will be publishing that with Odyssey. So, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, I'll be uh, publishing my content on the Nintendo Switch and console gaming on the Odyssey uh, Odyssey channel. You should check it out yourself. I highly recommend that you use Odyssey for content creations. The only problem of... Uh, sorry, I, I have a lot of gas. So, uh, yeah, the only problem of Odyssey right now is that, uh, you know, videos there aren't exactly monetized. So it basically leaves the creativity and the love of video video content creation it mostly relies on the love of uh, video content creators but who knows maybe uh, somewhere in the future or uh, I don't know maybe somewhere very far future that uh, the Odyssey might uh, offer some uh, monetization for video content uh, creators there on that platform for now, uh, the only effective uh, video content monetization right now is, uh, sadly, YouTube. But, uh, like I said, YouTube isn't exactly, uh, isn't exactly easy to make contents in YouTube nowadays because of uh, uh, censorship issues, uh, their, sta their uh, video standards, etc. And the thing that I really hated about that, uh, <coughs> about uh, making content in uh YouTube is that you're not all I'm not making money or I you're still not make a content creator is producing videos that are not yet for monetization and yet they censor it anything that goes beyond their so-called policy gets censored so uh, here's the thing if you're making content videos and if you're not making money out of it then at least have the freedom of uh, creative freedom of making videos rather than being restricted if you're not making money, then at least have a freedom regarding regarding content creation. So uh, I choose Odyssey over that. Uh, when it comes to the uh, my gaming channel is mostly based in Odyssey. Anyway, uh, okay, what shall I? Uh, uh, huh? What shall I discuss lately? Oh yeah, I've already successfully uh, said that uh, one of my. Uh, I've already successfully produced a video uh, series regarding Tom Clancy's uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. You can check it out also on Odyssey. I've already successfully published that. Uh, okay, so socially on work. What can I say aside from being stuck here for, uh, <laughs> for months on end? Well, uh, there's nothing more I could report. It's just, I guess that's the only thing I could tell right now on my... Uh, on what's recently happening to me. I'm still, uh, like I said, I'm still uh, trying to recover from the money loss that I have uh, that happened to me recently. Of course, uh, like I said, I'm not gonna prattle about it, but losing 95,000 pesos on your 95,000 pesos on your wallet isn't exactly an easy thing to handle. And, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm trying to make things go by right now because of that uh, negative uh, deficit. 
Hopefully, if I go back to sea and save up enough money, I could probably restart my uh, aviation studies, which has been, by that point in time, has already been in a abysmal state of uh, probably two to three years now on hold. And that's, uh, I guess, that's a problem. Oh yeah, uh, in regards to the uh, recent uh, aviation uh, news that I could tell, um, uh, there is uh, latest news about the cadet pilot uh, issue that uh, that the successful uh, selectees for the pilot uh, cadet their cadetship program have already made up to, or have already uh, processed their uh, European visa. But uh, frankly, they wouldn't disclose publicly uh, the numbers of who passed on the other cadet pilots. They're very strict about regarding the information about that, uh, which uh, I could respect because it's, of course, it's a client-related issue. They don't want any leaking of, uh, y you know, their projects. It's very understandable. But uh, I've already moved on to that part. It's just simply that I did not pass on that cadetship uh, program. So... Uh, uh, to be honest, I'm not really bothered by it because, like I said, I've already moved on. I've been doing my uh, own thing here, and uh, it's not very good for me to be thinking of that. I'm just mentioning it because I have nothing to say right now on my video content creation. So, uh, hopefully, uh, it will take another few months before I get back on my feet or probably years on... Uh, uh, you know, trying to recover on what kind of uh, shitstorm that I had here in the Philippines. But for now, uh, one thing is certain, I will not be able to go back to work or at sea not until next year, which uh, would take months. So hopefully, uh, I've learned important lessons on my uh, stay here in the Philippines that to be very cautious when it comes to money. So I guess I'll say no more. Uh, that's the only thing I could report out on my uh, video log right now. And uh, also, uh, like I said, I'm currently practicing my English right now because of, uh, uh, you know, uh, content creation regarding, uh, you know, video games so for the video gaming channel. Oh, by the way, just to add uh, one more thing. Aside from Nintendo, I've been uh, recording my video game sessions on Nintendo Switch. I'm also recording my video game sessions on the PC, which I use an Xbox uh, controller. So, uh, I guess that's all for now. And uh, this is Neil. Have a great day, everyone. And thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I hope I haven't bored you for the, at least 10 to 20 minutes of your time. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.